everyone, this is Newman here with 910 Air Gun Tuning Repairs. Today I'm showing you how to disassemble the rear part of the uh, impact as I promised I would. So first uh, we've got the rear action here on the valve tube still, so I'm going to show you. Just simply just untwist from it. Just like this. And then once you got it out, it'll pop off the valve pin. There you go, the got valve pin. There's valve housing, and this is the rear action. Okay, so now we have the rear part uh, completely disassembled off the gun. So now we can completely disassemble this, and I can show you the internals. So the first thing we're going to do is remove your butt pad. So that's simply your adjustment screw right here. Go ahead and untwist that. Pull that on out. Slides right out. Next thing we're going to do is remove your gauge. It may be hand tight, just as mine is. Um, but also sometimes it might be a little tighter. You might need to put a cloth or something like that around it and get a pair of, uh, uh, of pliers or vice grips on it to go ahead and break it free. Um, but my, like I said, mine's hand tight. Always try that first and just comes right out just like that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is remove your side plates. So we're using a 2.5 millimeter Allen bit here. Remove your middle two screws first on each side, these two and these two, because there's a little magazine bracket on the inside there that holds them together. Also, be sure to always try to keep your screws matched up with the correct holes in your parts so that if you go to reassemble, you don't have any difficulties. So, I'm going to set that to the side. Move over to the next one. And like I said, start with your two center ones. And your little piece fell right on out. Let me set that to the side. Got to remove these two now. And there you have it. Pops right on off. Alright, put that back with there. Set that over to the side. Alright, so now we have your magazine plate. There's four screws here on the bottom. And again, these are a 2.5 millimeter Allen. You don't have to have a Panasonic drill to do that. You can do it with an Allen key. There you go. Pop it right on off. Hold these screws on the bottom just to show you. There's your, uh, your your mechanism there for locking in the magazine. So, I'm going to set that down now. Now we're to just the rear block and your valve housing. So to remove the valve housing, we're going to use a 4mm Allen, and this screw will be locked tight, so it'll be very hard to remove this, so you might have to apply a little bit of heat, um, but I generally do not recommend doing that, and just use some brute force, you might have to put in a vise or something, but there we go, break it free. The lock tie is used to help plug the hole because this is used just, it also, it, it holds the valve housing in place while also acting as a plug. So, this should just slide, oh, there we go, slide right on, it was really lubed up. Uh, so there you go, there's your valve housing right here, this is actually a Mark II um, impact, so it's a little bit larger valve housing than usually, uh, it already has an uh, integral valve seat, and I can show you uh, in, later in this video how to remove the valve seat from a Mark I valve house. But, there we go, there's your rear block completely disassembled, and that's the rear action. Okay, so we have the Mark 1 valve housing here. Uh, I will show you the valve seat in a short little clip right here. And now I'm going to show you how to remove the valve seat out of here. So, I've got a little 2mm Allen key here with a ball end on it, that way it's uh, nice and gentle on it. But basically go in through the transfer port right here, and 
As you can see, the back of the valve seat is right there. So you're just going to take this. Be sure to get on the back of the valve seat. And just use it to pry on a little bit. Go on each side. Slowly pry. And there you go. It'll pop right on out. To reinstall, you can just slide it through here. Line it up correct which would be the side that has less o-ring on it or, or is the o-rings closer to the end is the side that goes down so go like that stick the allen key across and there you go installed. If you have any questions, just please let me know.